Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. Today we are doing my penultimate update for my 13 by Halloween project pan. I can't believe this is it, like the next video for this project will be the finale so we have between now and the finale to hit the last remaining goals and yeah let's see how doable or not doable that's going to be for what's left in the project. <laughs> The first product to update you on is my L'Oreal Infallible Fixing Spray. This has come down just about the same again. I felt like I made more of an effort to use it this month, but I suppose it's such a fine mist, you're not using a lot of it at once. I'm clearly not going to finish this within the project, but by putting it in the project, I've used it far more in the last few months than I would have done otherwise. So yeah, happy to have made that little bit of progress and be moving towards finishing it overall from my collection. <laughs> Something I have finished, very very excited about this, is my Kiehl's Facial Spray, so that is completely done. I did think I would have a little bit of it left this month, I thought I would be taking it into the last month of the project, but I actually got the last spray of it yesterday, so I was feeling quite smug about that. So that is that, completely done, out of the project, and I'm not rolling anything in a month to go, so yeah, we've just finished it, we've knocked it out, feeling good about that. The next product is my Kiehl's Mask. Again, I'm actually feeling quite good about this. I'm feeling good about the position I'm in with it. The actual grammage hasn't reduced that much um, between the last update and this, but if you look at the actual product that's left, there's like maybe one to two uses of this mask left. So there is no way that I won't finish it within the project. I'll show you in the cutaways. I think it's only come down like two or three grams, so it's not moved a lot weight-wise, but I feel like I've used it and made progress and we're definitely going to finish it within the project so not worried at all about this one. Next up I've got my fresh oil and serum. You can see again this has come down, eh, I used slightly more I think this month than I did for the last month so it's come down a little bit more. I didn't think I would finish this within the project but I've definitely made good progress, more good progress by the finale and then I'll definitely finish whatever's, whatever's left after the finale by the end of the year and this would have definitely just kicked around in my collection if I hadn't put it into the project so Really, really glad that I did and that I made the effort to get this used up because it will be in my 2022 empties in terms of hitting my goal of using up 300 products this year. Fingers crossed that we make it. We're on the home stretch. We'll see if we manage it or not. But yeah, this will definitely be an empty, one of hopefully 300. <laughs> Another empty generated by this project is my NYX After Sun. So I have now cut that open and finished it completely. So no more product left. That's going into my empties and I'm very, very happy to have used that up through this project. <laughs> Because I knew I was going to use that one up quite quickly after the last update, I rolled this in at the last update. This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. So this was new when I introduced it last month. This is what it's looking like now. Introductory weight of this was 70 grams and it's currently 45 grams. So I've used a good chunk and I think I'll definitely manage to finish it by the finale. So that will hopefully be another one of those empties. <laughs> My lipstick will definitely not be an empty. I've used 
just about the same kind of amount as I use every month in this. It's my Colourpop who run this lippy stick. It's what I've got on just now. I really, really like the colour so, you know, I'm not like desperate to have it out of my collection or anything. That's not why I put it in. I did think I would use more of it than I have used but do you know what? I've made progress on it that I wouldn't have made had I not put it in the project. And I do think if I put this into a longer project rather than a short term one, it is a product that I would finish up. And I, I would maybe like to do that at some point. I feel like there'd be something really quite satisfying about finishing a lip product, but it's not going to happen in this project. It's not going to happen this year. We'll see when it does happen. I'm sure it'll be documented. So do make sure you've hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so that you can see when this eventually does hit my empties. Another one that I'm really pleased with the progress on is my By Terry powder. So this did start with a pan at the last update that I would maybe have it at this update and then repress it, but it actually got to a point between the last update and now that I'd already repressed it. Um, and then I took a cutaway of what it looked like when I had, I think I forgot to take it when I just repressed it and then like finally kind of remembered a few days later after I started using it. But I showed you what it looked like when it was fairly freshly repressed and this is what it currently looks like so really really happy with this absolutely positive that I will finish this up this month and have it as an empty for the the finale so feeling pleased about this one Another one that I think will be will easily finish for the finale next month is my Jo Malone Whiskey and Cedarwood. So there is still a tiny little bit of this left, but I made such a jump on this. I have really, really concentrated in this last month. Um, so I've gone from the first mark here down to this mark here. And yeah, there's a tiny little bit left. I think like a week or so of using this in work, if even a week. Uh, will have me finishing this up. This will definitely be empty at the next update. One that I'm not quite sure on is my little duo of the Dior Lip Maximizers. You'll see you'll see the markings better in the cutaways, but this is where we are with both of these. I need to take the stopper out of this one and start using it with a lip brush. That's what's really ground this one to a halt. But I had my ColourPop lip gloss in my main project pan. If you watched last week's update of that, you will know I finished that this month um, and I was using that, I had taken the stopper out of that, was using that with a lip brush. I feel like if I need to use a lip gloss with a lip brush, I only really use it um, in the morning or in the house, I don't take it out and top it up. It does definitely slow my usage down because I was trying to use that one up uh, for the last update of that project pan. Uh, this one didn't quite get the attention, but hopefully this month I'll use up the dregs of this one with the lip brush. Uh, and also ideally would like to finish this one too so yeah I feel like that if you look at how much product I used out of this one between the last update and now that is like about equal to what's left across both of these it's just that once you take the stuff out you need to use a brush it's a bit more fiddly but I'll definitely manage to finish this one 100% and I'll see what I can do with this one. I've already finished one of these little minis within this project so and I originally just wanted to finish two so as long as I finish this one the two that I wanted to finish will be done I'll be really happy with that and if I manage to finish the third one that's an absolute bonus <laughs> The next product is my Kiehl's hand cream. Really not a fan of this hand cream now that I'm using it regularly. I really don't like it. So I am hopeful that I finish this up by the finale so that I can just get it out of my life. I felt like I'd used this quite a lot in the last month, but I didn't take it down that much gram wise. So at the introduction, this was 62 grams. The first update, I got it down to 49 grams. 
then 39 grams by the last update and then 31 grams this update so this has actually been the least amount that I've used in a month even though I felt like I was using it more it's so bizarre but obviously the scales don't lie which is why we measure it rather than go by feeling but yeah I am I'm hopeful that I'm near the end of this one and would love to have it done by the finale so fingers crossed it's such a lightweight formula it's so impossible to tell it's really um it, it's not runny that's not the right word for it but it's like well, I'll, I'll show you I'll, I'll use it on camera just to get another use but that's what it looks like so it comes out really quite easily so I feel like although it's still coming really easily I think this is one of these ones that when I get to a point where I'm cutting it open I won't cut it open and have loads more still to use that's sticking around the side I think once I cut this open it really will be the absolute dregs that are left so we'll see but hopefully I really I really want this out of my life so ideally by the finale next month I want this one done we'll see if it happens Something that I do have done is my Davines Oi hair butter. Emptied this one out, have finished it, really really happy. Don't think I'd bother repurchasing this. I quite like a mask that I can sort of leave on, pin my hair up and go about my day and just let it do its thing. Whereas I felt like when this was in my hair I could sort of, obviously I can feel that even like a lighter consistency of mask is in my hair still. Um, but I just felt like I was really aware of this one when it was in my hair. So yeah, I'm not going to bother repurchasing this, but I am very, very happy to have finished it. The last product is my Gucci Guilty body lotion. So at the introduction, this was 49 grams. Update number one was down to 40 grams. Update number two, 35 grams. And I've really reduced this this month. I've taken it down to 18 grams. So I think there's probably only one or two more applications left in this. The, I have the corresponding perfume to this as well. That's also really, really nearly done. So I do think I'll manage to get this out by the finale and I'll have both this and the matching perfume out of my collection well within this year which I'm really really pleased about. So that is everything for this update. Thank you very much for watching. If you're a fan of project pan content, do make sure you've subscribed. I've got my main 2022 project pan. I will link the playlist for that up on the end card. And I've also just started filming my 2022 12 pans of Christmas project pan that will be going up on my channel throughout the month of December for you guys to watch in the run up to the big day. So do make sure you've hit subscribe. There will be lots of project pan content coming your way. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.